Good afternoon and welcome to a really damp, horrible, miserable uh, south coast of England on a midweek afternoon. It, um, it's not very inspiring at all, but um, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I've, I've been at work most of today and uh, I've got a pack tonight to go away for the weekend. More about that in a bit. So I'm um, a bit of a short vlog today with just um, uh, a couple of things that I've been wanting to talk about for the last week or so and haven't had an opportunity. The main thing I want to talk to you about is uh, is batteries, and really, where are we going with battery technology? Well, there's been an awful lot over the last sort of weeks and months about the cost of batteries coming down, which is a great thing, uh, but also different types of batteries and different companies that are making batteries and the different ways they can uh, supply the energy to EVs. So, I mean, at the moment. EVs, as a rule, run on lithium-ion batteries. Uh, it's pretty old technology now, um, and we've seen over the years how it's developed from being, you know, great big packs that give very little power, right down to, you know, you look at the the new iPhones and Samsungs, just how small those those phones are and how much power they've got in them, what they can do. Well, it's the same with car batteries, and you know, even compared to when I bought this car just over two years ago to now look at how the size has changed how the densities have changed and uh, basically how much more energy they can get from a similar size unit and basically the reason the cost is coming down and down is um, partly to do with sort of innovation and how they're um, now uh, finding better ways to produce the batteries and get more power out but an awful lot of it is to do with what I suppose is like economies of scale there's an awful lot of demand now which is getting more and more and more all the time for the batteries to go in the cars but they're also building more and more battery plants to produce the batteries so uh, the, the more they build the cheaper they become to build and um, you know that price ultimately is passed on to the manufacturers who hopefully at some point will pass them on to us so lithium-ion batteries um, they're well proven they're getting better all the time the cost is coming down is there any reason to change and I suppose that's the big question and there's a lot of companies that think there is so one company that I've, I've seen for example they produce well I suppose there's hundreds if not thousands of these little tiny batteries that they for want of a better way of describing them they're like a load of balls and they get pumped into the car into its tank they're charged and then the car uses the power from the batteries to drive the car uh, and then you can still plug your car in as normal and recharge those batteries but their USP I suppose is that you can then just take them out and refill charged ones so I guess the idea is a little bit more like fuel when you drain your battery you pull into a, a battery charging station uh, the batteries are taken out of your car and they just pour a load of new ones fully charged ones in and away you go and um, how quick that process will be uh, you know time will tell but that's just one example of a, the way that different companies different startup companies are looking to improve battery technology in EVs and I guess try and make it a little bit more like uh, your kind of your conventional ice car in the way you deal with it but still having the convenience of an EV of being able to plug it in and I suppose it, it kind of begs the question is if you want something like that to be successful how is it better than a lithium-ion battery and you know we'll all have our own opinions and we all drive different distances and different ways but for me there's very few occasions when I could see how that would benefit me over a lithium-ion because you know, I'm happy to stop and charge for half an hour because having young children, generally, we like to get out, get a coffee, have a walk around, and in the time we can do that, the car's charged, ready to go again. You know, to set up an infrastructure to be able to put these battery balls, <laughs> if you like, back into the car, well, that takes an awful lot of time and effort and funding. Uh, as we are proving at the moment trying to get a decent infrastructure for car charging outside of Tesla so there has to be a really really big unique selling point 
to any of these startups, I think, to persuade manufacturers of EVs to change away from lithium ion. Now, I think where potentially the future will take us is uh, solid state batteries. And I've spoken about this before. The simple reason is because they're much more dense. You can pack much more energy power into a smaller space, uh, thereby uh, allowing you probably to still take up the same amount of um, space within the car, but have much further range on it. And they're a lot quicker to, re to recharge. So from that point of view, I think that's probably where the future is heading. It's just making it an affordable package and a reliable package that you could switch it out with the current lithium ions. Um, and just on from that, Toshiba I see have announced that through some of their development, it looks like they've developed a battery pack that could charge, they're claiming, 200 miles of range in six minutes. Now that is a substantial breakthrough on where we are at the moment. Now, it's nowhere near ready for um, production. I think from what I've read, we're probably two years away from them being able to actually drop it in a car and um, test it for sure. But you know, all the signs at the moment are really good. So that will be interesting. I think that will possibly will be one of the technologies that we might be able to use. Right, that's better, home in the dry now. So um, really, as far as batteries are concerned, that's kind of my, my thoughts and feelings on them. Um, you know, perhaps next week some great new invention will come along and it'll all change and um, we'll take massive steps forward. But for now, I think kind of the status quo will continue. Um, it's going to be lithium ion or something similar. Um, but, uh, you know, time will tell and um, it'll be interesting to see how it kind of works itself out because at the end of the day, it's kind of range stroke power versus cost to manufacturers and us and that will ultimately dictate what we end up with. So um, yeah, so that's batteries. Uh, as far as the rest of today and um, going into the weekend is concerned, uh, as I said before, I'm, we're going away. We're all going away for the weekend. We're going sort of up north and um, I've had to go back to Nissan and ask them if I can borrow a nice car for the weekend. Um, something I haven't done for a while, uh, something I didn't think I'd do again. Uh, I'll explain all in the next video and the reasons why I've had to do it uh, but yeah it, it hasn't sat well with me and um, I'm not happy about having to do it uh, you know, obviously I, I'd rather be in my leaf but also it's now going to cost me a fortune in petrol which is never a good thing um, so yeah a bit more about that in the next vlog of where we're going reasons why I'm getting this car um, but the rest of the night unfortunately why is it whenever you've got to go away for the weekend not only do you have to pack, but also the house is in the right mess. So we're gonna to have to kind of tidy up, sort the kids out, do all those other things, those very boring, mundane, kind of family at home things. So um, yeah, for now, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed today's vlog. Uh, if you have, remember to like and share it. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel. And um, I'll see you again soon, take care.